It's been a little more than a month since President Biden signed an executive order on police accountability. And while it only applies to federal agencies, the White House says the order incentivizes state and local agencies to implement new standards if they want to receive federal grant money. How that plays out in Colorado has yet to be seen. And in the meantime, one agency is engaging directly with the community, hoping to provide some transparency while finding ways to improve. Denver 7 CB Cotton reports. For Caleb Kittrell, every record is a reminder. I love being able to get on scene of the work he does in a crisis. I think mental health plays a large part of every call for service that the sheriff's office gets. Kittrell is a co-responder in Arapahoe County. He and other co-responders are dispatched when deputies think a mental health crisis exists, which has led to good results, according to Arapahoe County Sheriff Tyler Brown. Over the 3,000 plus calls last year, we've probably diverted about a third of those from the criminal justice system. Those successes, Brown wants to share with the community, but he also wants to take your questions and concerns. So he's found a new way to do just that. It's uh, important to know what we do and how we do it. Once a month, the Arapahoe County Sheriff's Office plans to do a Facebook Live called Talk with Tyler. Brown will be the first to admit this format is not unique. We can't take the credit for it. Uh, it was started uh, with other sheriffs across the country. But he believes the conversations to be had are crucial. During each session, he and others will tackle a new topic and community members can ask questions live and the sheriff will respond in a time where the nation has asked for transparency from police. Brown says he'll take your tough questions. I think that the voice of the community should be involved in how their law enforcement agency looks and how they provide that service. So far, Brown has held two of the sessions, the most recent one on mental health, as he was joined by the leader of the county's behavioral health response program. It's a wide variety of services that we can provide. The next talk with Tyler will be a conversation about the dangers of fentanyl in the community. I called coroner Dr. Kelly Lear uh, to come up um, hopefully at the beginning of August and talk about the opioid crisis and how that's impacting our community uh, and what fentanyl looks like and, and the issues that we're dealing with. And your questions about any issues could help craft future policy. Through our accreditation process, we're always looking to see what is the best practice for the profession. In Arapahoe County, I'm CB Cotton, Denver 7.